Thanks for visiting Phil B for Gold. I hope you enjoyed your lesson and what I want to do now is give you a short video recap of what you learned today. Thanks again and best of luck. Hi Steve, nice to see you today. Uh, just a quick recap on your lesson, what we worked on. Uh, the swing on the left is your first swing. First of all, I just want you to pay attention to your hands here, this little circle here. You can see as, I t as you take the club away, you see your hands go away from your body there. You can see there, and now we've got, if I get rid of that red line, we've got this little triangle here of daylight. I, d I need your left arm to go a little bit more across your chest there, Steve. Now, because your left arm goes out in front of you too much, you can see now when we get to the top of your swing, for me, your, uh, your arm, left arm is too high. Uh, I can see too much of your right shoulder. I'd like to see your left arm a little bit more on that axis. Uh, and that just affects your downswing because your club's been lifted up into that position. As you start down, you can see that the club is coming quite a long way in front of you. And you can see here the shaft is almost cutting, cutting through your nose. Okay, so we're quite a long way over the top of that now. And then from there, we're going to sort of have to back up and hold it off, which you said you was, hitting, you was either ripping it and hitting it miles left, or um, you were sort of topping them a little, not topping them, but thinning them straight where you're trying to sort of save the shot. So you can see everything looks a bit funky. You've really moved into it. Your spine angle's straightened too much. Uh, and if you just look at the top here from the top again, as you start down, you can see that your weight really moves to that right toe where you're pushing into the ground with that toe. And that's one other reason why the club's coming over the top. So it sounds like a lot of things you needed to change, but you really didn't. So if I just run that halfway back, all I asked you to do with the swing on the right was just to feel like your left arm just went across your chest more. So you can see here now, halfway back, we haven't got that little gap of daylight. That left arm is perfectly across your chest, really, really good. Got to the top of your swing, it's in a much deeper position. Left arm's covering the right shoulder. Really, really tidy that, Steve. Love it. If we look at the swing on the old swing, you can see how much higher and more in front that is. If I draw a line on the butt of the club, not very straight. There, and then the same one on this one you can see that you're now behind your shoe rather than that other one is in almost in front of your shoe. And that really makes a big difference on the way down. If we look at the swing on the left coming down, do you remember the shaft was cutting through your nose? And if you look at this swing now on the right, you can see that the club's now cutting through that right forearm. So that's perfectly on plane now, Steve. Really, really good. Uh, and also because of you're working on getting that club a little bit more behind you, your weight has moved to your left heel rather than your right toe. Okay, so really easy just get the left arm across your chest to the top of the swing in this lovely position that will fix the downswing and also we want to put you on the body track we just tried to feel from the top of the swing we move the weight into the left heel uh, and that just stops you moving onto your tiptoes really good steve work on that for us and uh, you should be winning some well i hope that helps and if you have any questions or you're finding the move particularly difficult please contact me on the numbers on this page or via my email address philbeaver at hotmail.co.uk Many thanks.